Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog from the great rain soaked state of Florida. And if you're watching this video, it must be Thursday. So that means tool time Thursday. So um, I bought a new tool to push some some uh, bushings in that I needed for my new subframe I just got back. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Um, so this is gonna be my first time using it. I did no research on it. I just called up my um, my buddy um, from Matt. I was like, hey, I need this kind of tool. Um, so this is what I bought. I'm gonna try it out. He says, if I don't like, if it don't work, I could always just, um, you know, bring it back. So we're gonna try that out today. All right, here's the tool, guys. A uh, Matco BPS 400. Um, so I'm going to use it to drive in some bushings for my subframe. And I said, yes, I know I could get the same tool from Harbor Freight for $10. But, you know, as I told you guys before, I like what I like and I'm going to buy what I want to buy. So I'm going to show you guys the old subframe, the new powder coated subframe. So, um... It's a little dusty. What I had to do, I had to clean out the the holes right here. Um, Cause it had a little bit of overspray from the powder coat in it. As you can see in this one, there's still a little bit of stuff on that one. So I'm gonna have to try and clean that out a little bit more. But this one is pretty clean. And the bushings that I'm gonna press in here is actually in the freezer right now so i could shrink them down a little and let me show you guys the case let's open the case get out of here so there it is there are all the pieces different pieces different sleeves so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and set you guys up to the side and then i'm going to try and figure out how this thing works and which one I'll need and then we'll go from there. But after I finish cleaning this one out, I'm gonna spray some grease in there to help squeeze those bushings in. All right, so here are my um, bushings. I had them in the freezer to, to, the, um, to freeze them down a little bit so they could shrink. So out of the templates from looking at the old one, it um it seems like this one would work and I could use this on the other end because it sits I put some tape on this so you mess up so it sits right here on this lip and then I could watch this and push it in to where this bushing the lip of this bushing gets to the edge and then I know that's where it'll fit. Um I was wondering if I should put any grease in here to help push it in. Um, I'm gonna try I'm gonna put some grease on there anyway it'll eventually work its way out when it gets tight so we'll put a little bit in here just to assist and then what I'm gonna do I use my impact right here my half inch impact and I'm gonna use it on this to um, to turn it I wanted to push the outside so I would need something like this on this side and then something flat on the other side all right let's try it so what I had to do was because this was too wide for any of the pieces that I had to fit in here I got a flat washer from the diff that I used from the diff I mounted behind here I used this piece that came with the kit I use this as a brace so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive this in with my half inch um, to a little bit to where I could adjust it and fit one of these on it so it could come off cause it's gonna need to come through and right now this is just a flat washer so I'm gonna use this and drive it
right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to loosen it. Catch this piece. I missed that piece and it scuffed it, but it's all right. Ah. All right, after enough decisions and going back and forth, um, I finally was able to get it on. Actually, um, Ronnie Guns came over and gave me a hand. So what I ended up having to do, because if you look right here, there's a lip on both sides and it needs to stick out a little bit. Um, so what I had to do was end up using this right here to where it has enough space to clear this. And then, where's that other piece? Ah, it's still on it. So the other piece, okay, came off right here go and it sits right here on this lip and it still allows this piece to come through because I can't press on this because it's all rubber and all it would do is just push this middle piece through which isn't good um, so we got it on there maybe could hit it a little bit uh, more so that's that one still have this one to do but my battery is dead so that's where we at we'll put the other one on but again as i said for tool time thursday this is the bps 400 and um and yeah so there it is tool time thursday i said i got it done R crew chief ronnie guns came by he was dropping something off for next week's tool time thursday um so he was able to hold that piece while i uh got the other side on cause a little bit awkward and then especially with trying to use the the gun maybe if I was using like a a ratchet and wrench it won't be so bad yes and I had to take the glasses off Whew, it was hot again thank you guys for checking out the video another tool time Thursday if you like what you see definitely tap that subscribe button down below bell icon for future upload ding like share comment and subscribe again peace I don't know what sleep is, I got a queen She lit me the evening, she ripe like a peach And she snapped me the snippet, you well overdue for that link up in person Text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it Still up with courage, you're doing a service Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes You cut throat from the low low, when no love goes Women buddy buddy like a